Hey everyone, Tank and Sign here. If you guys don't know, the next major update for War Thunder is coming out very soon, and we now have a name for that update, plus a trailer for it. So that said, in this video, I will be analyzing the trailer, seeing exactly what sort of vehicles will be coming to War Thunder again with the next major update. I'll try to give you guys as many of the vehicles as I can, because of course... We all want to know what will be coming in the uh, in the next update. So that said, let's go ahead and start this trailer off. Bear in mind, I do actually have to shut off the sound because unfortunately it is copyright claimed. So that said, here we go. That is a plane that I, I personally know, but maybe you guys don't at least right off the bat. And that's a new map, new location. It looks really, really cool at night. And there we go. Another familiar face, although I could tell you guys, but... Yeah, I'll let you guys sleep. Now, here's something that I did see a uh, comment on on one of the forum threads about this. This looks like an SU-25 variant, the SM-3. I'm not entirely sure about that, but that's what they're saying. Now, that, I think, is a ZSU variant with missiles. A ZSU-23 with missiles, like the M or something like that. So it's kind of an upgraded variant, kind of like how we have the Jepard and then the 1A2. Kind of the same thing, except with Eastern Bloc countries. And here we go, the F-20 Tiger Shark. That's what we've been seeing pretty much this entire first 20 seconds. The F-20 Tiger Shark is coming to War Thunder. Now, in what capacity, I'm not entirely sure. Might be a premium vehicle, might be a regular tech tree vehicle. We're gonna have to wait and see. Typically, the day after these update trailers drop, we see a brand new dev server springing up. And at that point, we'll be able to better have an idea of exactly what these vehicles are going to be like because we'll be able to play them at least in a somewhat unfinished state. Now, as you can see here, this is equipped with AGM-65, I believe, Bs. If you guys didn't know, the F-20 was a competitor with the F-16, so this will likely have many of the same capabilities as the base model F-16. I'm guessing this will be an 11.7, possibly a 12.0 BR vehicle, but again, we're going to have to wait and see. Now, it does have two wingtip missile racks, if that makes any sense, and it can carry something like 9,000 pounds of bombs. So this thing is a very capable fighter. Again, along the same lines of the F-16, except instead of an F-16, it's like an, a souped-up F-5E. So we're going to continue here. And this is very interesting. This is something I notice immediately, something that... Let's zoom in, and there we go. That is the M60-2000. Now, you might be wondering to yourself, what the hell is an M60-2000? Well, I'll tell you what it is. It's the chassis of an M60 with a turret of an Abrams, essentially. It's really, really cool, in my opinion, and it's kind of similar-ish to an M60 AMBT, at least insofar as what I'm expecting its capabilities to be. Basically, it's going to have a much better turret, but the same exact chassis, if that makes any level of sense. I don't know why, but Americans have a fixation of putting turrets on from different vehicles onto chassis of different vehicles. It's a weird thing, but that's where we are. Oh, and one really important thing to note about this vehicle, it will have a 120 millimeter cannon. Cannon. Very cool, and we have the Fox armored car, the FB741 or 721 if I'm not mistaken. Very cool. And here's another one that we are going to be seeing. This is the Dassault Alpha Jet. That should be a French and German light attack aircraft, I'm sure. That was also the, let's see here, the M62000, as you could see, going across the desert. This I'm not entirely sure about. Uh, somebody who has a little bit better idea of like various cockpits, let me know. And this is another one that I actually had to look it up because I'm not entirely completely sure of everything. I mean, if you know every military vehicle in world history, be my guest to tell me exactly where I may be wrong. But I think this is the ZBD-04, which is a Chinese vehicle. Kind of looks very similar, in fact, to, I mean, if you see right here, it's kind of similar to how BMP-3 is or the BMD-4, how it has like a 30 millimeter barrel. And what I'm guessing is an ATGM barrel right here. So should be very similar to those vehicles i'm assuming 9.0 9.3 br and now here we are we have a light up and hungary that's the hungarian flag the italian air tech tree is now going to be getting the hungarian sub tech tree 
and it will be pretty good. Now, I think that's a Yak, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's a Yak 15. That's a PE2, I think. That is a Tupolev, uh, what is it, 28? Or an IL-28, rather. Uh, MiG-21. We have a MiG-15, MiG-17. Another MiG-21. That might be a MiG-23. That is the Gripen. That is, I'm not entirely sure, right off the top of my head. Might be a MiG-27. No, that's an SU-23, rather, or 21 whatever or 22 and we have a mig 29 so that's all the vehicles it looks like they're showing as you could see it says well as you kind of could see at first h-u-n-a-f i believe that means the hungarian air force and that is a gripen and then we have the m62000 the tiger shark possibly some sort of a new controller for the apache like a heads-up display not entirely sure that is a yak kind of like what i had said before MiG-29 and JAS Gripen, and we have the Alpha Jet destroying a whole bunch of vehicles, the Fox Armored Car, the Apache again, and the Tiger Shark. Now, bear in mind, I think that there were only like two two or three Tiger Sharks ever made, so that's pretty cool, and that's the uh, same SPAA that we discussed before. Again, I think it's like the ZSU-23M possibly, but again... Pretty much the same concept as the Gepard or Japar 2 shooting down an A-10. And there we go, another Dassault Alpha Jet. I'm actually really excited about that. That's something I've been wanting for a long, long time. We have a bunch of vehicles. The SU-22, MiG-15, MiG-17 uh, with a uh, maybe like a Lim 5 p possibly. And then we all, of course, have MiG-21 variants right there. So some... 60s, 70s planes, some, well, 50s through 70s. The Tiger Shark. It looks really cool with that black camo. We have the M60, uh, 2000, rather. And that is it. So, that said, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Are you guys excited for this new update? I personally am. I am stoked for it, especially with the Tiger Shark. That's one of those marquee planes I feel like a lot of people have really wanted for a long time because it's a great what-if plane. Because it was that or the F-16, and of course we went with the F-16, but what if we hadn't? What if we went with the F-20 Tiger Shark, and now we get to play in War Thunder? Some people, some very famous aviation pilots, I guess you could call them, said that the F-20 is one of the greatest flying planes they've ever flown. So who knows? Is it going to be that way in War Thunder? We'll have to wait and see. But either way, thanks again. See you all on the other side. Take care, everyone.